Bang. Ridge body, soft body. It reminds me a bit of a dolphin, this, this guy over here. Um, so, other than the fact that this one is literally a soft body, um, that's a difference. But what's cool is being able to do rubber duggies, of course, and balls and uh, uh, a fully gone blank. Uh, gummy bears, that's the one. So there's a lot of ways to do soft bodies. One of the, the best ways to do it is probably just use uh, M cloth with Mass Effects because it's, it's great. So you can select tie flows like super duper fast. You can use cloth in that as well, but the cloth doesn't really react with Physex very well at, at the moment. This way is basically based on the old M particles way of doing it, which then in turn can react with physics objects. Anyway, uh, yeah. Look at me, I'm a, I'm a flippy little dolphin. Flippy little dolphin. Alright, so let's look at this dark. If I go to wireframe, you see how detailed it is, but that's because we've got Turbo Smooth enabled. So we turn that off, you see we've got a pretty decent low poly, but we can't use this for our soft body simulation because we've got a few inconsistencies. These two vertices are close together, whereas these vertices are far apart, and we want to avoid that. But what we actually want to do is we want to create another mesh that we can use to simulate our soft bodies. To do that, we need a mesh where the vertices are equal distance apart or close to. If we just click on the model, and then we go up here to the modeling tab. Oh, hang on, wait, where's the fucking thing? If we just add a temporary edit poly modifier, and if we go up here to our freeform tab, see our poly draw tab, and then we'll go down here to our draw on, and we'll select surface, and we'll select pick, and choose the duck. Now, what we want to do is we want to choose this surface option. So um, we'll draw triangles out. So um, make sure you untick quads so it only draws triangles. And we want to click new object. And then minimum distance, just set that down to something low, say something like one. Now if we click on surface, and now we just um, click and drag the mouse, and you can see it's drawing out um, a whole bunch of tries. So if I have the duck, you can see that uh, we're drawing tries over the mesh, but I've stopped drawing. So if I start drawing again now, it's just gonna it's gonna put um, an ob object over an object over an object, and it's gonna keep layering up. And we don't want that. We, so we want to connect, keep connecting these tries. So to keep doing that, just hold shift and then keep dragging, and you'll see that it just keeps building this shape up around the duck. So. Doggies. So just keep going over until you're done. We built this ducky. <coughs> we built this ducky. Oh, fucking hurry, that's Right, so now we unhide the rubber duck. If we click on that and click Alt X, turn it to X ray mode, so now you can see through better. So now if we go back to our um, low res mesh. You can see that it's done an okay job, but um, this beak area is a disaster. So we just go in and manually fix that up to um, put these control points uh, vertices uh, exactly where we want them. So we want um, like a point to be at the very tip of the beak. And I'm actually not happy with this whole thing, so I'm just gonna delete this part of the beak altogether. And I'm just going to redraw that in, just to be, be a little bit more careful when I'm drawing this time. Alright, so this will probably do for now. So we've got a nice uniform mesh uh, that we can use. Um, last thing we want to do is just quickly select all these vertices and click on the weld settings and just um, decrease this to zero and press up once. And that just means that if there's any vertices um, that aren't actually welded, it'll just quickly weld them now. But we can see here before and after they're all welded, so that's right, it's fine. All right, we'll just call this uh, rubber duck proxy. Now let's unhide the rubber duck as well, and we'll just move them up so that 
we can simulate a fall in by the main duck again. And we'll just keep our proxy for now. So we'll add a tie flow mod and we'll choose birth surface and pick the duck proxy. Now it'll birth particles at each vertice of the proxy. So we can hide the proxy object now. Um, now what we'll do is uh, we'll turn off display so we can't see them and we'll just we'll add a shape and we'll leave it by default for now and then we'll add a physics shape and now we'll we'll see we want to see the particles again so we'll, what we'll do is we'll change it to a sphere shape and then we'll do display hull so now we can see the collision shapes of the physics particles so now if I play you can see they just all fall to the ground um, so we'll add a physics bind, bind them together, change it to joint, and press play. Oh, this splats a little bit. We'll leave the settings like for now, but one thing we want to do is we just want to check that all these little spheres, um, we want to check there's not too much gap. So if we go back to shape, now we can change the shape of these particles because the physics, the physics shape is getting its shape, is getting its um, size from the shape. So we can just go into scale, turn, turn variation to zero so they're all the same size. Now we can just scale it down to anything we want. So we can make them little particles. See how there's so much space in between these particles. Now if we go back to the physics shape, turn that off, go back to the joint. Now we go to uh, show connections. So now we can see all our um, all our bindings, and you can see that we've got a few um, gaps in here, the big gaps that we probably don't want. So what we can do is we can just increase the amount of binds, and it will gradually close those gaps. So that that's pretty good. This looks like it's all bound together pretty well. So we'll keep it at five binds, and now we can turn these off. Go back to our physics shape. So we want to reduce these gaps as much as possible, but we also want to keep these collision particles as close to the mesh as we can. So if we unhide the original duck mesh, one thing that PhysX does is that for some reason it, it puts all the particles down a little bit. So I'll just move the original mesh down a bit. So it pretty much matches where it's supposed to be. There we go. And you can see that our collision particles are actually going outside of the mesh and we don't actually want this. We want the edge of these collisions to be the edge of this mesh. But we also don't want much gap in between these particles. So we have to sort of find a middle ground. So what we can do is we can increase, so we can increase the shape a little bit. So we'll set it back to 100 and now we're reducing all the gap between the particles. Um, but you can see now the collision zone is way out um, from the actual mesh itself. So if I just turn this edit poly off on the main duck, and now if I add a add a tie particle skin, and we'll select the tie flow, so now it should be skinned. Yep, which it is. So now if we go down here, I'll just add the turbo smooth uh, back. And now we can see that if I actually hide the hulls, you can see that it sort of collides with the ground, but it's offset from the ground, and that's because these spheres are so big. So what we're going to do is we're going to try and uh, keep these sh these balls inside the uh, mesh as much as we can. So we'll we'll click back on our proxy object, which is spawning these particles. And we'll just add a push modifier, and now we'll start to do a negative value. And what that does is it starts to it shrinks. So if I enable the proxy mesh, see how it starts to shrink the the mesh, either expand or shrink. We want it to shrink in a bit. Um, so you can see that it's inside the duck now. One thing you notice is see how I get too close that all the particles start to shit themselves and that's because they're obviously their collision they're colliding with each other and that, that doesn't like that they're getting so close that they're colliding with each other so we just have to sort of find a middle ground so we have to um reduce the scale a little bit so maybe go down to say 80 percent 
and then maybe reduce it back in a little bit more and that looks pretty good maybe we can even increase it a little bit more and you just want to try and find a good level where they're liking where they're sitting without causing too much trouble so maybe 85 and that might be alright so you can see now that it's it's sort of it's sitting in almost the right spot turn display hull off now now if I just play the simulation you can see that now it's sort of it's sitting on the ground a lot more and and even this mesh up here will interact with each other a lot better now what we can do is we can just um, play with the settings so I usually go to the spot where it compresses so about here and now what I want it to do is I want it to keep the shape a lot more so I'll go into the bind settings and straight off the bat what I do is I just enable enable movement settings then I enable drive on each of these because that it's more accurate that way and then what I do is I want to increase these values so maybe I'll just set it to 100,000 and then I'll just do that with all of them Alright, and now we'll play that back and see what it does, eh? Yeah. So now, you know, you can you can sort of play around with, you know, different values. So now if I add like say a geosphere and I do the exact same thing, so we'll make a clone that we can use as the proxy. Copy this event. Um, but I'll get rid of the dark and the push to the proxy and now we'll just bring it in and try and find a, a, a good middle ground once again maybe we can get away with increasing the uh, increasing the shape of these ones a little bit more because um, you know I've got a lot more room to move I'll just decrease the shell All right, something like that So now these should interact with each other. Yep. And we can adjust the sphere. We can adjust these settings independently. So if we go down like this, we can make it, you know, more squishy. So uh, to do that, just lessen the dampening. So maybe from, you know, maybe make it 50,000. I'll just change it on each, just, just for the get go. You know, as you change these, you can usually you can usually get a good grip on what it does. So now it's going to be a lot squishier. You know, and, um, you can even probably go a bit, you know, down a little bit more. So maybe three. Yep, and then on top of this, we can add turbo smooth, and now you can see we've got a little simulation going on with two little soft bodies. Bloop. Thanks for watching. Hope it was helpful and yeah, uh, see ya.